Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be showing you my Monster High dolls. So Monster High came out when I was like a teenager and I really liked them so I would buy them like with my own money or sometimes I get them for my birthday and I would Christmas whatever and I would just put them on my shelf. I never played with them so my Monster High dolls are actually in really good condition and I did think about maybe selling them because I know Monster High is like really hot right now but then I was like I don't really like I don't really want to sell them because I, I really love them so like I actually had some of them out to sell and then I was like no I don't want to sell them so um sorry if I'm a little awkward and like it's kind of hard to do this setup with the camera and like don't have a ton of room to move but um yeah so let's get in to the collection. So first here we have, this is Draculaura and she is like, you know, the little vampire girl. She's really cute. She has like this little heart on her face. She's got her little safety pin earrings and she's got this nice little outfit here. Um, pink streaks in the hair. This I think is the first version of Draculaura that came out. Um, you know, it's funny, I actually remember the reason I bought this doll is because I was like, well, like 14 or something, and I had this idea, I had this idea that I wanted to do like a stop motion recreation of the fan fiction My Immortal, if you guys know what that is, with like Ebony Darkness Dementia Raven Way, and I thought, I could do like a stop motion thing with dolls and like I was like oh Draculaura from Monster High would be the perfect enemy but um I kind of gave up on that idea because it was like too hard and I was like 14 and I wasn't really like that was never gonna happen it was like a really um far-fetched idea because that fan fiction is like 48 chapters long of just complete insane nonsense so yeah but that is the reason I originally bought her but she is really cute she's got her pigtails and it's funny when I was looking her up on eBay to see what she had sold for um most people's are like so destroyed I cannot believe how destroyed some of them are because like even the dolls I played with like tons when I was a kid are not as destroyed as some people's Monster High but I think Monster High like more than Barbie and Bratz are like kind of delicate like for example here's uh Laguna Blue and her little fins on her tail are often missing or on her tail on her legs so I feel like they're kind of just delicate little dolls and she's got little fins on her arms too so what's really cool about um oops about um, Laguna here, a little sea monster, is that she's got these like webbed hands, which I always thought were really, really cool that she has these webbed hands that are of course not gonna focus. Come on, can we see the webbed hands, please? No, okay, fine, no webbed hands. But anyways, she does have them and um, yeah, she's cute. She's not my favorite, but she's very cute. She has like a really cute face with her little freckles and her little flower. Ugh, sorry, I'm so uncomfortable sitting like this. When I did the South Park video, I had a really good setup where I was somehow able to sit behind the camera here, and I don't remember how I did it, but this is really like, I'm really contorted back here. I don't remember what I did in that video. Yeah, so... Yeah, there's her, and... This is Frankie Stein. It's the only Frankie I have. This is sort of like this little beach thing they did. I can't remember what this line is called. Like, beach please or something. Probably wasn't that. But, like, she, um... What I really like about her is that she's got, like, this sort of bride of Frankenstein hair and I always like they always added like so many little details for the like monsters they were inspired by like she's got the little lightning bolts and her shoes are like 
little buckles which are kind of like the straps on the table in the movie. Yeah, she's got her little scars, and um, yeah, that's the only Frankie I have. She's very cute. Oh, and she's got these sunglasses, which are like lightning bolt as well. Here is Cleo Denial. I don't know if this is the original Cleo or this is like a later one. I think this might be a later one, but... She's really cute, too. I always liked this doll because she reminded me of Cleo from Clone High, and I loved Cleo from Clone High when I was a kid. Well, I just loved Clone High in general. And, um, yeah, she's got her little shoes. Her little mummy wrappings. I mean, they don't really look a lot like mummy wrapping. I think they could have done this print maybe a little better. But you can see she also has these like little bracelets on her arms, which are like little triangles. So that's really cute. And she's got her little gold like headband thing, you know, basically just kind of looking like the like hieroglyphic depiction of women we always see from like ancient Egypt, which is really cute. I never watched any of the shows or the movies, so I don't actually know what their personalities are. But I feel like she's probably, like, kind of a total bitch. That's kind of what she looks like, which I kind of love. So, I don't know. See what it's like? This weird angle I'm at? Okay. Here is, I think her name is like Iris. She's like Cyclops. She's got this outfit on. She came with two. I remember not liking one of them. And so I think maybe this is like the extra outfit. I might have changed her into that at some point. Oh my God. <laughs> Why are they falling over? <laughs> they never fall over. Yeah, um, I don't know what to say about her. She has green hair. With this like little braid around it. Which is really cute. And again, she has a very cute face. She's got little freckles, if you can see them. I don't know why my camera is not auto-focusing today. This video is kind of cursed, honestly. <laughs> like, it's actually not really going well. Um, like, can you please autofocus? There we go. Yeah. She's cool. And, um, back there... What is wrong with you? Here is another, like, beach one, Beach Cleo. The, this one and the Frankie were the first ones I ever got. I got them for my birthday from my grandma, and she has, like, this really cute ponytail. And her bathing suit is really cool because it's, like, mummy wrappings. And she's got, like, mummy wrappings on her leg. And yeah, she's just like really cool. And she's got this like pale, like green aqua lipstick. Very nice. And the triangles and the earrings for like pyramids. Okay. Now we have this one, which is so cool. This one isn't really worth anything when I looked her up. I don't know if she, like, these two, like, aren't very popular, which I don't know why, because, like, I'm assuming they didn't appear, like, on the show much or whatever, but, like, I think the doll is so cool. It's, like, these conjoined twins, sort of mermaid, serpent sort of things. I think their names are Perry and Pearl, or Perla. 
I'm not really sure which one is which. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, like, wait, turn around. Um, see the two heads back there, it just looks so cool. This one though, the thing that's a little annoying about it is that it's really hard to get it to stand because I don't know if you can see the bottom of the tail, but it's like, it doesn't stand very well. It's like always falls over unless you have it in the exact position, which is annoying. But you can see like they have so much detail. They have like all these fins, like all these like gold jewelry hanging off of them. Big ass earrings. And yeah, they're just really cool. You don't see a lot of dolls with two heads. Okay, now, how am I gonna show this? This is really big, so I'm not really sure how I'm gonna show this. So, what I have next is the, what is it in here? The Laguna Blue, oh my God, I can't even get in frame. Um, hydration station. Oh my god, I can't even get it in frame. So, it's really cool. So, how it works is you open, this opens up, okay? This part, there's like um, a cavity here that you fill with water. You put her in it, and then it looks like she's sleeping in water, and it Oh, the batteries aren't in it right now, but it's got like lights and it makes bubbles. So that's really cool. And the doll that came with it was Laguna. She's right here in her little pajamas. She's got these little slippers, which I don't know if you can see them, but they're like little sea urchins. They're really cute. She's got this little ponytail with her little sleeping mask. She's really adorable. She came with a bunch of accessories, which I have, but I don't feel like pulling out. But one of them that I think is really fun is her little pet, which is like this little fish. And he has his own little sleeping mask too, which is so cute. So, That is my Monster High collection, so I hope you enjoyed this video, and tell me, um, I was going to say tell me what collection you want to see next, but you don't know what I, okay, wait, actually, you can tell me which collection you want to see next if you go and watch my bedroom tour video, that kind of shows my room, and <laughs> you could tell me what you want to see next, but I'm just used to saying that from my main channel, which by the way, check out my main channel, Serena G. And um, I will see you guys in the next collection video.